This summer was one of the summers I definitely felt like flew by. I know there are always moments where we think, is summer almost over yet? Or times where I look at the date on the calendar and I think, wow, summer has flown by. Well, let's look at today, how do we capture in the best way possible these last moments of summer vacation before we all return to school? Here we go. Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Katherine here at Tranquility Moms. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. We are so glad to connect with you. We are a team of Christian moms that have gathered together to give you information in all types of different ways, both through the YouTube channel and through the blog, and we're all over social media, to recharge moms. That is our mission. We want to recharge moms from body and mind and soul because we feel like that's what we have needed and we know that we have learned some tools to provide for you. In today's episode, I'm going to be looking at ways to plan a family adventure before school starts. School is just around the corner. That means that summer is wrapping up. And summer is one of our best times to put in our tools of do-it-yourself wellness travel. So why don't we look together as to how we can capture that into a last family adventure. You've heard me talk in other videos about how to plan a family vacation, what are ways to add wellness into your trip, because we really follow the model of the Wellness Tourism Association. They say that vacationing and travel, it's a way to have your getaway be a way to jumpstart or maintain or even enhance the well-being of you and your family. We want you to feel like you are rejuvenated after your getaway. And that's important to us because we know that you need a fully recharged battery, mom, in order to do the tasks that you have and to nurture your family magnificently. Let's take a look at three different ways that we can plan that family adventure and incorporate in some of our LEANS model. L-E-A-N-S. You've heard me talk about it in other videos. L-E-A-N was from Dr. Sears Wellness Institute. That's where I got my health coaching certificate. And he puts together all the tools of wellness during your pregnancy, into motherhood, and for your whole family's wellness. I added an S because I truly feel like spirituality and our faith is an important part of how we plug ourselves in and recharge by God's word, by our prayers, and by our overall spirituality. So as we talk about those three ways that we can go on a family adventure, we're going to plug in the LEANS model. As you wrap up summer, you may feel like, let's just do a local day trip. You may have had a bucket list at the beginning of the summer, right? We start out really ambitious. I'm going to do all these things with the kids. Well, maybe it's time to review that list and see if there's any place that you wanted to visit. Is it a local zoo or petting farm? Is it a local museum or indoor educational center? Is it someone? Is it a place, a, a person's home that you've been wanting to go visit? Is it something historical or something botanical in a nature garden? Those are things to think about as you look at your local area, maybe a 20 minute drive or a 60 minute drive, and you say, we're gonna pack up the car and pack up our picnic in order to take a day trip and really spend that time connecting. That's so important for all of us because we don't know what the upcoming school year is going to look like. And we certainly wanna feel like we are all starting off the school year on our best foot, right? You've heard me say, I believe that you can take this next vacation and turn it into your new lifestyle. With, same with our family adventure, getting ready for school. We can take this small day trip or a larger getaway and really turn it into our way of fully recharging all of us as a family, that we are connected and we are knowing how everybody is doing, we're checking in with each other, we're communicating well. And as we're doing that on this getaway, the car ride, 
and all the exploring that we're doing for the day, it gives us so many opportunities to do that. And that's that lifestyle choice. We want to know that part of our L is that we're connecting with each other. Or our E, are we exercising at the nature center? Are we walking around? A, I've got this attitude that I'm so thankful for our togetherness. N, maybe I packed some specific snacks. I was really being mindful that we weren't eating more junk food. We were looking at what was packed, what were foods that they have in maybe smaller restaurants of the zoo that are going to give us those high proteins. They're going to give us nutrition and wellness. You've seen in my video foods that boost your energy. Check that out. Take a look at how you can plug that in to your shopping and also your eating on this day trip. And then our S. Oh, what kind of spirituality and quietness can you have as all of you explore nature together on this day trip? Are you walking around and taking a look at God's beauty? Are you saying a prayer together before you eat? Are you saying in the car ride home all the things you are thankful for, your favorite parts of the day? I believe God smiles as he looks down on our family and sees us communicating and connecting. He sees his goodness and love coming right through in our relationships. The second way of planning a family adventure is let's pack up and go somewhere overnight. You've heard me talk about on these vacation trips, sometimes I just need to get out of these walls. We need to shake up the routine a little bit. So take a look on Groupon or other discount websites. I know sometimes I've been to places and they're sending me emails. Quick, easy getaway. Maybe it's a couple hours drive from your home. Maybe it gives you the opportunity to take the kids to a water park inside that hotel. Or there are different excursions and outings right near that new location. It could be about renting a house, it could be staying at a hotel, a resort, or call up those old friends and say, we haven't seen you all summer long. Are you open for a visit this upcoming weekend? And get away, go and visit them. That opportunity gives you a chance to again, plug in how are you centering yourselves? How are you getting your best energy and strength before school begins? Whether you work in the schools or as a parent, your responsibilities are all going to increase. Pick you up and drop off, homework, challenges with are we e-learning, are we in person, what's our district or our private school choosing to do? That can stress us out. So we need to start out this school year pre-loading ourselves filling up that battery. I really keep using the battery analogy. I feel like it's the best way to understand the way our body, mind, and soul are all calculated. They have a battery that gains energy and strength and it can definitely lose it and be depleted and weary. My mind can be stuck looping and worrying. My body can be tense and overwhelmed and feeling a lot of pain. My soul can just feel like I am disconnected and irritable and seeing all of the negatives only. So that is why we are here, is to be able to recharge you like a cell phone battery, right? I think when my cell phone's depleted, I've got to take the cord and plug it into an outlet. And that outlet is my main power source. Well, God is my main power source, right? He gives me everything I need. He also uh, says here, use your body, fill it with good foods and movement and a good attitude. The Lanes model is also going to be your power source. So Tranquility Moms is like the cord. We connect you to all of those tools and tips. Maybe you're thinking a day trip or an overnight trip is just not enough before school begins. You need to know how to totally relax on vacation. So you need to book a trip and you're thinking three days, five days, however much time you have before that school year begins, you think we are flying or driving and getting totally away. I want a brand new environment or maybe it's your favorite place that your family goes back to time and time again and you just want to book it 
one last time. You want to be in a place where your meals and your sleep is able to all be enhanced. You want to look at walking around the resort, taking a morning yoga class right there at the resort. You are looking at how, how can you be in nature and just quieting yourself, just prepping yourself that you're going to have a good, strong attitude for the school year ahead, that the kids are going to academically be challenged in their new grades, and you're saying, I'm ready as mom to emotionally support that, to back them up mentally when they feel weary, when their battery is drained, when socially they've been going through stress, who's picking on who, who's playing with who more at recess. Um, and you say, I'm ready for those hard conversations, God. I know that that is what you equip me with as a mom. I know that you're going to give me all of the strength and your wisdom as to how to guide them through this next school year. I know that academically, how they're going to be challenged, and maybe if, if I'm doing some homeschooling or they're doing a lot of e-learning this year because of the pandemic, give me the strength and the patience to be able to be the best tutor and teacher and mom to them. So think about in these last few moments of summer, what do you want to do? Plug it into your calendar right now. Go look it up. Don't waste another moment saying, how can I plan a family adventure before summer begins? We're so grateful that you're here with us at Tranquility Moms. If you haven't subscribed yet, it really is a compliment to us to subscribe and keep following every video that we put out for you. We put out videos weekly. We put out new blog posts weekly. Our writers are putting on there. What are new tips? What are more details that you can follow? Leave in the comments below. What have you done for your family adventure? What was fun? Share some ideas in the community so that other moms get ideas too. Give us a thumbs up. Show us that you like this video. That helps other moms to know that this video is here and YouTube will share it all around. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Catherine here at Tranquility Moms. God bless you and your family. And today, take care of yourself. Thank you.